Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about what are different energy management strategies. Okay, so in an electric vehicle, we have different energy management strategies, which generally is called as EMS. In an electric vehicle or hybrid electric vehicle, this is very important. This is like an programming based or type of programming methods we use in an electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle. So coming to this energy management strategies, they are classified into two types. So first we'll try to discuss about offline. So offline means they're not connected to internet. Offline energy management system. And next one we have online that we'll discuss later. Okay, so we have online energy management system. So this is done without internet without internet this is done with the presence of internet okay so in the presence of internet we do it so these type are also called iot based internet of things so here they are not connected to internet so they don't have connected to net and multiple operations since they are connected to net they have iot based these are non iot based okay and next one they have these are like uh, we generally have can network that can network is preferably can be of offline or energy management system okay so and this work as like ota over the air okay so ota means over the air so this is like an electric vehicle has they're connected to internet and this connected to internet they call it as iot technically but in electric vehicle domain we call it as ota over the air the data transfer occurs now let's try to discuss so all this ems or like an programming so how to program an electric vehicle or the set of programming what we can do in an electric vehicle or an hybrid electric vehicle this like uh, an software programming methods and the software we need to dump into hardware of an electric vehicle now coming to the offline energy management system again these are of two types the first one we'll try to discuss so the first classification is uh, which is nothing but global optimization based okay so this is like a global optimization based energy management system so global means universal is adapted optimization means the best use if you use anything bestly or perfectly it's called optimization what are these global optimization energy management system so under this the classification is dynamic programming method okay so what is dynamic programming method dynamic programming method is like an this is like a, a computer programming method that helps in solving a problem which is having so this dynamic programming method is a computer programming that helps in solving a problem which is having more overlaps if you have more more overlaps in your problem then these kind of problems are better solved by performing and computer programming and this way of solving with program based is called dynamic programming and this is done with the help of an computer or an software okay so we use computers to do all this uh, dynamic programming in an electric vehicle and this dynamic programming is the first one and second one is stochastic dynamic programming method stochastic dynamic programming method so it's also like a computer program which is used to solve a problem which consists of multiple overlaps in a problem we use a dynamic programming in the electric vehicle also we have multiple overlaps whether to operate in an electric motor mode or whether to operate in an ICE mode or whether to operate in an main mode these kind of overlapping problems are better solved using dynamic programming method and next one is stochastic dynamic programming method so this also like programming method but what is meant by this stochastic means this nothing but random probability distribution okay so this is nothing but 
random probability distribution okay so the data is randomly distributed sometimes the electric vehicle without the need of an input they will give the output so probably they have to select what kind of best output they can deliver so there is one more type of programming method which is nothing but dynamic programming method all these ems or nothing but the programming methods how we program the programming methods of an electric vehicle how we program the electric vehicle on the hardware okay this is called programming methods so first one is dynamic programming next one is stochastic dynamic programming third one is genetic algorithm okay genetic algorithm of programming so this is like uh, a genes so you have an x and y this undergo crossing to give z so z may be the best once again this z undergoes a crossing of a to give an output of b so like this multiple crossing will be taken place and ultimate for example these are father and mother they undergo to give the kids once again kids undergo to give their uh, anger kids okay like this the b is hyperactive so this b will be like an hyperactive kid so these are like aged people these are like uh, normal moderate aged people these are like hyperactive kids offered like a 2000 or 2020 kids so you can see the age difference okay so this is like uh, the best recombination you have to make okay that's how we do in your uh, normal real time life okay for example uh, an x boy is there and y girl is there so this is from one tag of uh, jomine and this is one another tag of people so they don't have a marriage of same blood group so these people of a uh, separate blood group these people of separate blood group automatically the kid will be a healthy kid which is nothing but a safe kid so this kid will get married with uh, one more kid which is of another blood group then automatically b will b will be an hyper kid so here two different brains of two blood groups definitely will give a better output if same blood group they undergo some sort of a I mean, uh, hierarch I mean, hereditary issues. Okay, so these kind of issues are better solved by using genetic algorithms, like a mutation. So this undergoes a multiple mutation, and this is like a popular method what we use. Okay, this is called genetic algorithm based. So next one we have game theory. So next optimization method is nothing but game theory. game theory so what is this uh, game theory we'll try to understand the purpose of game theory or this game theory is also like an uh, programming method this is used to find out a favorable favorable outcome if you want to find out a favorable outcome of a program then we can use the game theory as like an optimization method so next offline energy management system is uh, pseudo spectral okay so this is nothing but uh, pseudo spectral method the purpose of this pseudo spectral method this is like uh, this is like a computer or this is nothing but a computational method of solving an problem this is also to solve the energy management system and next we have convex optimization problem so convex optimization optimization means the best use of anything okay so convex optimization problem optimization means the best use of anything is called optimization so for example uh, you are going to a restaurant and your friend is going to offer you a treat for some his friend is going to offer it to automatically uh, a is there and b is there and a is offering the treat a will eat only uh, eat only less food since a is paying b will try to eat the maximum food what he likes okay so why he is eating the maximum food so why he consumes the maximum food why because a is giving the treat so like that a will b will think that he is giving freely so that's why he want to eat the maximum food the extent he can eat so since a is paying b is able to eat but a eats what actually he requires so this is like optimization so this best optimization is done by b now so like this uh, you can see the number of people they go for an uh, function or some sort of uh, restaurants if someone is paying they will try to use the maximum so that is the best for them which is nothing but optimization 
in their end. It's called optimization. If you use anything basically in your resource, it's called optimization. Okay. Or if someone is paying, they will try to eat more. If they are paying, they will eat less. It's called optimization based systems. Okay. So that is called convex optimization. Okay. So this is all about the optimization method. The offline optimization methods are very simple. So dynamic programming method random dynamic programming method genetic algorithm method game theory a favorable outcome based programming method pseudo spectral method as well as convex optimization method and next optimization method is a panthroigin minimization problem okay so next one is a pan trigin panthroigins minimization problem okay minimization problem so what is this uh, panthrygin minimization problem so this is to find an optimal control solution so you want to get uh, a optimal control solution or a best control solution then or optimum means best solution if you want to get a best solution of a problem then you can use uh, panthrygin minimization problem all these optimizations are already outdated but for time being we are trying to explain this is all about here also we have some multiple rules to explain each individual problem so this is all about the offline energy management system under the category of a global optimization problem and next we'll try to see about rule based energy management rule based energy management system so so here in this uh, offline the second one is rule based and first one is global optimization i mean global optimization so in this rule based energy management system we have two types of so first one is deterministic so deterministic rule based okay so this is nothing but deterministic rule based energy management system so what is this deterministic rule base deterministic means we will recite write down some set of rules already i will leave you in the court we have done some rule based development using an fuzzy logic control for electric vehicle so it's called rule based energy management system so deterministic means this is nothing but a predefined okay so whatever you predefine the rules or if anything is predefined or predetermined or predefined it's called deterministic rule based energy management system next one is already discussed fuzzy logic based energy management so this very important uh, tool so fuzzy logic based energy management system okay so fuzzy logic means uh, it's nothing but whenever the thing is unclear or there's no information what kind of input for example uh, so egg comes from chicken or chicken comes from egg so you can see the information is unclear or vague then we call this kind of information as a fuzzy logic so whether egg comes from chicken or chicken comes from egg there's no clarity then these sort of systems are called as a fuzzy logic based energy management system or one more example you can take that so man created god or god created man there is no clarity these sort of solutions or this kind of solutions are possible with the fuzzy logic based systems okay that's why this is very popular method but we are using this fuzzy logic based system for energy management system so this is all about offline energy management system we'll try to discuss about online energy management system so these are also very important okay so next classification is uh, already discussed initially we have offline and we have now the online energy management system okay so these are the basic or the major classification one is offline and online in offline we have global optimization based and next one is rule based next now in online we are going to discuss in online also we have three types of classification first one is instantaneous optimization based energy management system so this is like uh, instantaneous i mean with respect to time within milliseconds it will happen instantaneous optimization okay and 
second one i mean in this instantaneous optimization once again there are three types first one is called equivalent fuel consumption minimization okay so first one is equivalent fuel consumption minimization problem okay so we generally called as equivalent fuel consumption minimization strategy ecms okay so ecms equivalent fuel consumption minimization strategy the theme is already we discussed uh, in the hybrid electric vehicle the purpose of this hybrid electric vehicle or hybrid ecu is to reduce uh, the fuel consumption we have to minimize the fuel consumption that is done with the programming method which is called equivalent fuel consumption minimization strategy and more if you make it advanced second one is called advanced equivalent fuel consumption minimization strategies so you can see see here all these are basically the programming methods okay next one is robust control method robust control method robust means which is very strong okay so a very strong system is called a robust type of system so this robust type of systems are very very useful okay which is called a robust control or strong type of control so next type of uh, classification in online energy management system which is nothing but predictive energy management system okay predictive energy management system predictive means you are going to predict what will happen in the future what is the future of this energy what you are going to predict that's called predictive energy management systems so in this predictive energy management system once again we have the classification next one is uh, uh, in this predictive type we are going to have driving cycle okay predictive driving cycle predictive type of energy management so what is this uh, driving cycle already we told that we have an echo mode as one driving cycle next one is sports mode as one more type of uh, driving cycle next one is hyper mode so in echo mode we can drive up to 40 kilometers in sports mode you can drive up to 16 kilometers in hyper mode you can drive up to 80 kilometers or maximum we have 90 or 120 okay so in this either we drive it with echo mode or sports mode hyper mode we are unable to predict or we are unable to uh, say which mode you require then automatically the programming can decide what kind of driving cycle is preferred for this road it's called driving cycle predictive type of optimization method so next one is model predictive control okay so model predictive control this like also predictive control what for example model predictive means uh, already our electric vehicle is having a charging which is that is called as state of charge already 80 percent is there in the charging with this 80 percent how many kilometers i can drive in a two wheeler is 80 kilometers generally if you take for one kilometer one percentage so 80 kilometers i can travel with available state of charge of the battery so what we have done now we are going to predict with available state of charge how many kilometers we can drive so with 80 percent of the charging i can drive only up to 80 kilometers this wow this is what we call as uh, predicting the speed with respect to speed with respect to driving cycle with respect to available state of charge how many kilometers i can drive from the available state of charge this is called model predictive control tool so this 80 percentage don't think that this is valid only for two wheeler it may change for an four wheeler in the 80 percentage it can drive around 250 kilometers also it depends upon the size of the battery and state of charge of the battery also next one is uh, after model predictive control we have the next method which is nothing but uh, stochastic already i discussed this uh, stochastic model predictive control so stochastic is nothing but uh, what we have is already we discussed uh, stochastic methods here so stochastic is nothing but having some probability 
okay the probable way of finding out the predictive okay so this is called random probability the random probability of model predictive control will help us which type of driving cycle you have to select in the available state of charge how many kilometers our electric vehicle can be driven right now so with the available 80 percent of charging only 80 kilometers i can drive or with the available 80 percent of charging so how much maximum kilometers you can drive in echo mode or in sports mode with the hyper mode everything is like predicting the future it's like uh, in the case of electric vehicles called stochastic or random random it will detect random model predictive control technique and next one is heuristic type okay so heuristic based or learning based model predictive control so heuristic means which is called self learning okay self learning based or learning based model predictive control so learning based model predictive control means this heuristic or learning based model predictive control is nothing but learning of its own okay our electric vehicle will learn the things of its own by using artificial intelligence nowadays we are calling this as artificial but we have some set of rules uh, the electric vehicle uh, day by day it will learn some more rules and it will learn the things okay so based on that it can suggest you the best driving cycle it can suggest you the uh, best type of drive as per the road as per the speed you are traveling that's called uh, artificial intelligence based way of learning okay so just like uh, we how we generally train the students okay so we have some set of uh, students and we like uh, faculty where we are going to give some sort of set of rules and instructions for the students to prepare so indirectly i'm saying that we are training them or we are making to train them to learn something else so whenever you get an a question in an exam the student will not answer from first unit to sixth unit whatever the question is asked he will try to answer only about that question okay this is how we train the students in learning so student day by day get learn the things so whenever a question is asked in exam for example first question is asked what is the difference between an electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle he will answer only this question and he will not write down the answer from first unit to sixth unit so he is using his brain this is called intelligence this intelligence we are making like an artificial way we call it as a artificial intelligence learning method electric vehicles are also nowadays coming with a artificial intelligence with available fuel how many kilometers i can drive with available fuel in which locations we can travel and uh, how many kilometers i can travel everything it can forecast and it can this forecasting is called predictive so that's why these methods are called predictive energy management system so that's what today's uh, class is all about how you do the programming in an electric vehicle that is called programming of an energy management system of electric vehicle one is offline energy management system next one is online in offline we have global optimization problem as well as rule based already fuzzy rule based we already we implemented an uh, programming you can if you want to watch about this rule based you can watch it. i will leave you in the court you can watch from there and next one is online energy management system so these are once again two types one is instantaneous optimization problem next one is predictive energy management system okay so uh, next one is learning based so third one is how we have here predictive we have one more type which is nothing but uh, learning based energy management system that's what i discussed which is nothing but artificial intelligence so hope you got a clarity about the classifications of energy management systems in an electric vehicle and how many types and what is the need of this energy management system just like uh, we are going to learn only about the programming okay how we program in an electric vehicle by predicting the future what are the methods offline methods and online methods so if you feel the content is really useful to you please give your valuable like and if it's really useful for your friends please share with your friends and if you have any doubts you can ask your doubts in comment session and if you're watching the channel for the first time please subscribe to the channel so this is a free channel only for the development of students and for educational purpose and if you feel the content is really useful please watch the content regularly so the fuzzy logic based optimization is already available in the channel and i will leave it in the card so yours obediently wrong.
we'll meet in the next video of the fifth unit is all about how we do the sizing of electric vehicle we'll meet in the next video thank you thank you for watching